There we go. Hey guys, last winter we designed and built an EDF powered snowboard so we could snowboard on flat ground. It was a bit more complicated than we expected and took quite a few videos to actually finish. So, as an extra video this week, we've actually recut all the footage into a single video, showing the entire build and test. Enjoy! In this episode of Make It Real, we're making a jet-powered snowboard, like the one seen in Agent Cody Banks or even Treasure Planet. But the truth is, I just wanted to build a jet-powered snowboard. Now, in both of those jet board examples, they're actual jet engines, which we don't have. But thanks to our Flying Like Iron Man project, we have a whole bunch of EDFs, electric ducted fans. We've even tried them with longboard before, and it was awesome. The only problem was, we didn't have brakes. But with the snowboard, you can brake. Enough talking, let's make it. All right, so it's about 3 a.m. right now and the 3D printer is just finished, so I want to make sure that they printed successfully, because I want to snowboard tomorrow. All right. Looking good. Crap. All right, so we got the board all finished up and we're ready for the first test. Is this live? <laughs> yeah. We're worth it. All right, let's test the jet board. We didn't have too much luck last night. Uh, a few issues. One, the snow was way too deep, and on the path, it was basically pavement with just a tiny layer of snow. We think it will perform a lot better on hard packed snow. But since then, we've also added some battery monitors, which we forgot in the test last night, which would have been bad because that means basically we probably could have pulled a bit too much power from the batteries, which, as you know, is, is pretty bad for lithium polymer. Should I maybe not put both feet in right away? You lose a bit of control, but you can also save yourself. So that still didn't work quite as well as we had hoped. I'm going to wax the board, see if that makes a difference. Um, but we did notice in the driveway it slid on the snow way better than the road, so it might be because the road has salt and other crap in it and whatnot that makes it really not, not as slippery as ideal. So we also might look at finding another place that has packed snow, kind of like at the bottom of a ski hill, that's perfect, but we're not sure if we'd actually be allowed to uh, ride this there since it is actually really noisy and 
kind of dangerous, but let's wax this and see what happens. FYI, I am a novice snowboarder and this is probably not how you're supposed to wax a board professionally. One of the metal, that's not good. One of the uh, metal wires. All right, so a few technical difficulties. One of the wires came unplugged and our strainer slash intake guard, uh, the wire was coming loose, so we had to pull that out. But let's give it a shot. There we go. Said so wax the board. Now, I only just started snowboarding last year, so I'm a bit of a beginner. So I've got my friend here, Jordan. He's been snowboarding for 10 years now, and he's going to take this thing for a rip. How's the weight feel? Is it heavy? So I'm gonna pass it off to my friend. He's a seasoned snowboarder and one of my oldest friends actually. His name's Chris. And if you dig back in our older videos, there's actually a pretty funny one from Will at Laser where we actually lasered a tattoo on his leg using my industrial laser cutter.
So what did you guys think? New form of flatland snowboarding? Let us know in the comments below and suggest some other projects that we could do this winter. I mean, we are in Canada and there's lots of snow. Be creative. Thanks for watching.